Here we are in another webinar. Welcome. And and uh, yes, yes, sure. I will send you a chat message. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me at the end of the webinar. I would like to uh, answer all of your questions and uh, hopefully we'll have a very very informative webinar for you and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. My name is Zaim and I am working for Total Material last six years and a little bit more and I've been to con I've been contact uh, to, to each one of you and first of all I will like to tell you that Total Material is 25 years online, last 25 years, we are trying to help engineering community worldwide and we would like to show you more what we have in Total Materia because some of you guys are using only single user versions, some of you guys have only a horizon access, but Total Materia is more than that, constantly updating and upgrading itself. We have new modules, new solutions, new uh, offerings. So even if you are user, student or test users, you will be able to test the rest of the total material. That's why it's very important for you to know all this uh, information that we are providing. Well, we know your challenges. As I told you, we have 25 years of experience, but we are providing only reliable digitalized data for you needs to be reliable, needs to be up-to-date, of course. Most up-to-date information is the most valuable one. And we have so many solutions to manage internal materials information, enterprise integrations, platform connectivity, and AI as we are in AI era. So, so many processes and mechanically, you're testing so many materials to get information about your materials and material behaviors that we have predictor to help you give you so many estimations and accurate uh, calculations, which I am calling predictor as a test simulator, because as you know, so many material information is not provided by standards and uh, producers data sheet, but we are providing only reliable, accurate, digitalized data. So we won't be able to give you and share all these estimations with you, but we created that AI uh, module predictor. You can test it for free. Please contact with me. I will record this session and I will send you the recordings right after the uh, session and you will be able to get all these details and of course, not only accurate material uh, selection, but a compliant one and sustainability is an issue. You need to know a lot more about the materials that you're using for the production, right? So we are providing all this information for you. You know, the classical material selection process and uh, usually so many companies it's a must simulation softwares. It gives you valuable uh, estimations so that you know so many materials, uh, so many materials uh, behaviors before you put into a production. So you know your products, how long does it be on there and be durable and reliable. So you need to have a quality check. Supply chain is an issue to find this material accurate and also not only that material that you select, but if it's sustainable material, you think, and is it co compliant? So you can check all this information inside all materia. Compliance is an issue recently. So engineering focus, classic, suitable to the task, reliable at the right price. It's of course, first election, that's how you choose the material first, but you need some more details, obviously, and 
this is uh, where the automotive usually starts. Actually, uh, today you need to focus on if it's going to sell in market, is it covering market needs, meet my corporate goals, they look good quality because it's all about your brand value. As much as you produce better uh, products, uh, your brand value will get high and your company's income will get higher and you'll create a very reliable brand. So it is very important not to make any mistake in this material selection process. We have Horizon as you, most of you guys already tested or using the total material horizon. We are providing a lot of material information, but in the same time, uh, you can create your own internal database with integrator. We have predictor, as I told you, test simulators, AI tools, machine learning, everything here. And green line is all about sustainability, choosing find the right green material and compliant material. So they are providing all this information. And all this information is not only for material engineers, of course, we are uh, serving multiple different engineering disciplinary. It's starting with material engineers, of course. They're the specialists. They need to know a lot of information about material, but still uh, they need a reliable source. Internet is not enough. Uh, standard copies are not enough. Only uh, suppliers that you're working uh whatever material they are offering is not enough they need a source to understand the materials behaviors in case in if they need any material according to mechanical physical properties to choose they have to have a huge resource which we are providing more than half a million material selection and you can filter in different ways and compliance and sustainability is starting from the beginning because either if Material engineer says that like, this is the material that we should use and immediately you need to check if it's accurate, if it's uh, compliant for the project because at the end that product will go there and you need to know from the beginning if it's compliant or not. Uh, otherwise, you need to repeat this process and it will cost a lot of time and money, of course, for the company quality issue and yes you choose the material great it seems like yeah everything is up to date compliant and is it the material that you are looking for really you purchase the right material do you have a quality check at from the beginning of this process and purchasing department needs to have the detailed information and about material and supply chain issue you can solve in worldwide because we are covering 83 national standards and thousands of supply information for you so that you can find the best uh, equivalent and the best price and the best quality material and uh purchasing department always will have another a uh, wide range of alternative selection options and sales and application engineer need to know more about your product and more your product durability so this is very very important and as you remember after material engineer suggested the material it starts with simulation process it start with design you're optimizing your design you're fixing the issues kind of in design wise but the simulations really telling you a lot uh, about your product behaviors. How long is it going to be there? How long is it going to be durable? And is it going to be reliable? You are giving some guarantee time frame. So is it going to be still working there? So this simulation special, it needs also highly accurate simulation results to get this proper way because uh, otherwise, as I said earlier, you need to repeat this process. Either simulation engineer will say like, oh, you know what? This material is not for there. Find another one more durable, let's say uh, higher tensile strength material, higher uh, some other properties of the material or 
elevated temperature dependence uh, mechanical physical properties that you need to select the right material again and again otherwise you need to repeat this process but uh, also for the simulation specialists if they will have detailed material information like Tall Material is providing I would like to show you the details and the difference and internet source material uh, solutions so let's say 25 years online experience uh, and detailed material information from Total Materia. Yes, we are providing over 25 different simulation uh, software direct uh, export options. So with this material cards, you're taking out from Total Materia and you can import your simulation software directly. This is uh, what we do in generally in Horizon wise. And this is how we help in whole different engineering departments in same company. So if you have a single user option, and if you're the material engineer and using only to select material, just share this information with your supply chain and uh, quality department and simulation engineers and sustainability or just purchasing and other departments they would love to use the raw material with accurate information, right? So these are some use cases from automotive industry, for instance, Piaggio, we you know the brand, gas them worldwide, everywhere they're making some uh, production and it's easy to navigate in our new web page, I believe. I would like to show you how it looks like in uh, our web page actually and uh, maybe you're familiar with this interface here's our customers you're clicking the company about us trust partners customers here and we have another resource that it shows you the customer stories these are some of our customer stories world well-known companies are using tall materia of course you can always ask for testing or anything you would like to search by country or any uh, company you think they're very very good at it <laughs> this uh, job for instance a lot of users worldwide and uh, I'm sure it will be very interesting for so many of you to try to see what, uh, how we can help engineering community worldwide. And soccer, for instance, an oil and gas industry, I accurately forecasting material behavior. This is very important. In this uh, industry, there is no place for a mistake, obviously. So. They're using as a reliable source, just like Shell, Texaco, Coal, uh, any other oil and gas companies worldwide that you know. So here's an example only for oil and gas selection, material selection process. It's a little complicated, kind of. It's a little bit uh, like, seriously, yes, we do have all this information that you're looking for. You want to make material selection, right? So cost and availability is important, corrosion resistance is important, fabric availability and so on, mechanical physical properties also, uh, minus degrees because these pipelines are outside, sometimes into the ocean, sometimes under the sunlight and very hot environments and it's sometimes they're carrying some hot uh, contents. So these are very, very important. And evolution, material selection uh, process is a little bit complicated here. You need to know a lot of unknown information, LA base, <laughs> goals, corrosion results, how and covering, and at the end, how we will make it join, like uh, what uh, electrode to use, and how long it's going to stay there, uh, or mechanical behaviors of the joints, right? So these are all different and very necessary informations. Here is the minus temperature <laughs> uh, behaviors of the materials. 
and here's the elevated temperature behaviors of the materials that's you can find in tall materia in highlights for material selections oh my god still we have a lot of complex uh stories to clarify and okay we found the material what about the form of the material matrix structure grain size heat treatment of the material hot cold or how it formed and composition allowing elements welding information still it goes on and then you have to have stress strain uh, curves you have to know all this the uh, it's very hard to find information from somehow that needs to be accurate like in total materia so simulation engineers needs to make some simulations maybe try to uh, simulate some tests maybe and of course your simulation that highly uh, complex uh, softwares needs detailed information highly detailed and accurate information to provide you more accurate simulation results and at the end you're still inspecting the materials behaviors you still need to make sure and you have to prepare a file for that why did you select this material and when do you expect for maintenance activities right so and the thickness yes we do have different form different heat treatment um, uh, information about the same material and also the form and the thickness of the material so this is why it's very very critical and important uh, for the materials we have general information about ferrozolites cast iron steel and carbon steel low alloy steel high alloy steel we know where we can use but let's say we choose low alloy steel and how we know how, which low alloy steel is the best for the job so this is this is the general information that who is actually using total material worldwide in automotive industry machinery general engineering metal producers yes they are using raw material too and we that's how we provide a lot of material uh, producers information here so we have thousands of producers data sheet combined with 83 national standards so aerospace where there is no place for any mistake and so many different industries including one of my clients was asking are you kidding me Walt Disney is using too yes they have a roller coasters imagine that uh, constructions have any failure I mean unacceptable right so they have to know materials behaviors and when to plan accurate maintenance activities so these are the selection but we will start with horizon here horizon as you know we are providing a lot of information we are giving you material selection tool material identification tool global equivalents sharing and exporting options for this material advanced properties extended range uh, module as uh, contains stress strain curves and uh, fatigue information for mobility creep data so on and reference data that which you can justify your selection and this material informations only accurate and reliable information that we provide because we are providing more than 500 thousands of material information it's updating every month we are updating standards and data sheets and so many detailed information that you will be able to find inside all material and it's the most comprehensive material information source in the planet 80 plus standards that I told you 83 right now when I start uh, working for the it was 58 like and uh, 63 then <laughs> 68 72 then 78 then now we are 83 and we will keep growing every year 20 percent we have more information about materials new materials new material information precision is very important when you need to 
have a precise information source, we are here to help. As I told you, we are providing stress strain, formability, fatigue, creep, and fracture mechanics data, and you will be able to export over 25 simulation software. Right now it's 28 as far as I remember. remember. I need to check again. And uh, this is how it looks. This is our tall material platform. As you can see, we have so many different data modules here and we are providing quick search for the designation of the material. And we have advanced search for the advanced users. We have standards list that you can select the standard and material discovery options. With a material type, material group that you can filter, standards you can filter, or directly you can make a search for producer data sheet. Numerical and alphanumerical designation of the material that you're typing here. And we are providing you a lot of different standards, the same material. Here is the material card and right hand side, uh, all these data belongs to this material anymore. Material description, starting with material description, it, it will tell you where to use this material and what standards, information that we are providing, so on. You have cross-reference information, you will be able to find exactly the same and similar materials. Equivalence Finder will give you uh, an option to select but this material's equivalence by only for yield strength value. For instance, only for chemical composition, only for or several of them. We have 1,063 mechanical properties for one and only uh, AC standards 304. We're providing you price information about this material, but what about this one single material have thousands of mechanical properties? When you click the detailed wheel here, elevated temperature or minus temperature value instead, detailed wheel will give you heat treatment options and so many details that I would like to show you very soon on live uh, demo. We have the same for physical properties, heat treatment, metallography, stretch tankers, and all information that you're looking for is here, including supply information. Here's the joints, here's the chemical composition of the joints and the mechanical composition of the joints, SN curves of the material. As you can see, creep that has a chrono stress, allowable stress information. You can select if it's available for the material, ISO corrosion tests, and so many corrosion information. As you can see, 10,000 corrosion tests have been made for this material and we've put inside this. And when you select detailed wheel, you'll be able to choose the standards, and heat treatment form, dimensions of the material, like let's say you have a sheet metal, two millimeters, and sheet metal, eight millimeters. Do you think, two millimeters and eight millimeters that I just show you will give you the same mechanical or physical properties? No, so you cannot use generic material information. You need more detailed material information, obviously. If you would like to be one of these industry leaders in your field, we are here to help as we are providing information for industry leaders to small companies, including so many curious students and researchers. We have a lot of information inside all the material. I mean, all you need to ask how you would like to use. We can create pro uh, reports for this material information with one click here you will be able to select any simulation software that you're using, including we have an option to export this material cards as an Excel file or HTML format, you know. So with this zip file, we'll be able to read it by ANSYS. We have cross-referencing options, as you can see a lot of different options, including Smart Cross, which is our patent algorithm, if any standards or producers data sheet is not providing any equivalence of this material, SmartComp still will be able to give you accurate information. When you choose the same similar material and compare them side by side with one click here, here is the option, and you can create the material list. You can name on it anything you want to say. 
like, okay, these are the equivalents of this uh, IEC standard material. These are GB Chinese standard equivalents. And this is very easy and simple to use. Advanced search is for advanced users. Still, we have under the advanced search uh, material group selection, so many filtering options. But this time, I would like to find the yield strength material minimum uh, yield strength 500 megapascal. So I am also saved this, uh, saving this uh, advanced search options here. As you can see, what we are looking for here, obviously, a Chinese GB standard material. We are putting the material group as a structural and constructural steel. I want my material, my material, to have a minimum 300 megapascal yield strand value, but in 100 degree. But in the same time, in 100 degree, I want minimum 500 megapascal tensile strand material. So impact strand needs to be minimum 40 joule. And I want a durable material. Modulus of elasticity value that I want, minimum 190. You can also choose the maximum if you want. And you can choose another you know, uh, temperature uh, level. Because we have 500 thousands of material. And I'm clicking here. Instead of asking anywhere else, I have 19 options only. See, only these 19 material can give me this mechanical, physical, durable uh, options. So here's another option that please try to use this plus and add some columns here to see which material have what values. I can also compare material side by side. I can also compare material up and down. I can still filter this material. I can deselect or delete one of those on my list. And I can compare these materials up to five different uh, properties in the same time. In the analytic view, I can compare this material with X, Y part, like I can add different properties for this and still I want to see if this material is materials are compliant so one of these selections won't be compliant so better than go with this material one and only different module here is smartcom which is highly valuable for quality first you can check if your desired material are is, or is the material that you purchased. Do you have a spectrometer? You just check their chemical composition. You'll be able to see this material's behavior. You will understand if this material is okay to use and if this material is produced in accurate standards that you are looking for. So all this detailed information that still you can ask me to show you how it works. If your user it's fine, of course, we are giving you unlimited free technical support and training options. If you're test users, if you don't understand how it goes, do not hesitate to call me and let me explain how it works. Or if you're just a curious student, it doesn't matter, just ask me. We would love to support your research activities. That's what I do. So right now we're... Uh, providing over 82 standards organization and so many different uh, material information worldwide, including thousands of producers data sheet. These are some of the producers are uh, using total material in the same time and providing uh, their material information inside total material. You have a lot of tools to filter uh, this materials information. Of course, this is horizon a little bit uh, I didn't go on details to be honest. Uh, we have integrator to create your own internal database. It's an advanced uh, solution that maybe you don't need this 500,000 of material. 
So you need to filter all this material or you're making some special processes and tests for this material. You want to save inside your material console, right? Like this is the exact look like very similar to Tolomateria. And Tolomateria Integrator comes with full uh, version of Tolomateria itself. So either you can copy materials from total material or you can create totally new material inside your material solution. So it's reference materials that you can filter and save and you can manage users and you can make a bulk export when you create the material card fully compatible with your uh, simulation software. In the same time and different simulations that you can use in your R&D center, we're providing information for over 28 format. And if you're still using some of the format that we're probably not supporting yet, we will be able to fix that issue very easy. And it's uh, working with your PLM ERP system. Any PLM system that you use, it's fine. Any ERP system that you use, it's fine. We'll find a way to fix, uh, to work seamlessly together because we are stronger together as integrator is stronger with Horizon, right? I'm here to help and Horizon is free to try. What about an integrator? Of course it is free to try. We are giving you a lot of options, a lot of uh, detailed use case scenarios. You have user selection, very, very important and accurate and highly uh, <laughs> important. So if you would like to try integrator, feel free to contact me. What about predictor? Predictor is our test simulators, right? So filling the gaps, predicting material properties. Is material property prediction is a little bit com complex uh, format. And um, we've been working last three years for this and we created a very accurate, beautiful uh, tools. Really, you will be able to simulate this tests seriously because uh, yes test at the end is the most accurate one because this is the real material this is the real time testing and you have material behaviors uh, it's fine but when you are not sure if this material can pass the test you need some material information if total material have this information you'll find if not Either you will make this tests, right? So it will take, I mean, consume time and a lot of money. But if you have predictor, you will be able to predict this materials informations. So what predictor have over 500,000 of material, material uh, informations. So that's how predictor can make accurate calculations and reference data it's huge so it will give you so accurate test and simulation results you're free free to use uh, and test predictor because it's not only filling the gaps but it has using a special algorithm using deep learning machine uh, learning and so many uh different calculation methods to be more and more accurate. Uh, you can either go by, let's say, uh, from chemical composition of the material to uh, predictions or reference material that which is not provided uh, necessary information that uh, you're looking for from uh, standards or produces data sheet. You have the material, but you don't have the materials uh, properties it will give you accurate results. Not only for metallic materials, also non-metallic materials can be uh, researched. And uh, green line, last but not least, and uh, green line will give you compliance assessment options, compliant equivalents, restricted substances information, BOM assessment, like you have thousands of material information, 
and uh, you don't know which one of those are not compliant according to any different uh, information. We are primarily source of data equipment as our partner. We are constantly searching for up-to-date information. Uh, over 300 global regulations. So it's covering reach rules as well as regional, federal and state inventories. Biocompatibility is important, food contact and industry regulations, uh, end of life vehicle information, WEE, etc. So a lot of different regulations are having problem uh, nowadays. So you need a source if you need any technical support or you want to just check and see what uh, green line is doing uh, you are free to test you can access compliance and materials simultaneously against multiple different regulations and up to five different regulation and once you can check so five by five you will be able to uh, search all worldwide different regulations if your material list or materials are compliant or not but not only compliance material in the same time you need to do good care of life cycle assessment with our 40 different indicators accurate carbon footprint assessment with defined parameters and find sustainable and compliant alternatives which uh, Greenline gives you a huge uh, opportunity to select all this and give you some estimations and very accurate results about your carbon footprint. Metallic materials or non-metallic materials of course. If you're interested your sustainable sustainability departments would like to see we are here to help and I will let you test uh, green light. You have raw material extraction, manufacturing process, and process detailed process information. You can type in transportations and usage of the material and end of life uh, of the material. So it's help uh, helping engineers find greener alternatives, and you will be able to calculate your carbon footprint accurately, right? So. If you're looking for any other solution together with Horizon, we will complete you to test integrator, predictor, or green line. Let's understand your specific requirements, what you're looking for, what are your material challenges. You will be able to explore all of our solutions with testing for free, and you will receive a free test and free technical support and free training as much as you need and please understand uh, the evaluation to use how accurately use tall material please do not hesitate to ask us any questions you have in your mind and we'll be able to implement our solutions with you here's my uh, mobile number you will be able to reach me anytime you want anytime you want to ask Anytime, anything you want to ask, you can reach me by WhatsApp, Viber, or uh, Telegram. And here's my email address. Always welcome to test our solutions. And uh, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask me your questions because actually I do have a uh, question for you <laughs> if you're just okay with that would you like to test our solutions please let me know yes or no it's easy <laughs> easy question for you and if you say yes i will contact you and we will have a teams meeting i'm going to listen to you what are your challenges and I will show you how you can use the material with that and you'll be able to free to test all this detailed information solutions. I'm sure it will help you. And I am sure you will be able to get very good results. Thank you for the answers. And 
please tell me which one of these solutions are more interesting for you. And if you didn't like any of those, do not, but just feel free to send me your messages. Hope. I'll be in touch. Um, and thank you for the answers. And oh yeah, sure. Sure, predictor, it's fine. Well, I just give you a little information to be honest. I would like to show you more, more and more. And uh, okay. All right, uh, let me try to show you briefly. This is a Thalmateo platform where you can find a quick search information here where you can filter the materials. Let's say you are looking for a titanium or any kind of uh, oh, polymers. Polymers, let's say I'm looking for a PPE polymers like, yeah, still we have a lot of polymers and I'm looking for a carbon fiber. Fiber, let's say I'm looking for a fiberglass or carbon fiber elements, but this is like fiber reinforced materials. All you need to filter like this and search this material. Here is your selection. I wanna see more hardest or most impact strength, highest impact strength values, uh, carbon fiber. Uh, fiber, for instance. And uh, actually, you can select this materials here, and uh, you can add your analytic view and material uh, cards. Here you can forward to advanced search or compar uh, comparison view to your analytics. You want to see density value or, or maybe pricing information. Sometimes we do have price information for carbon fibers as well. As you can see, these are the options that you have. So many of them have almost similar price as you can see, sometimes in different material groups have different price options, but density values are quite different, all right? So you have similar materials. Let's say these materials are giving you almost similar uh, mechanical, physical properties, but at the end, of course, it's very important for you to choose the lightest one. Here's your lightest one, for instance. And this is how you can go to the material card it gives you approximate kilogram price of the material and here's the producer's information if it's standard material you'll be still able to find the direct suppliers here and this is the material description start with the material descriptions to understand where you can use materials and if you're looking for some specific application there are so many keywords here as you can see and advanced search, you can type this materials uh, like bimetal. Um, bimetal, I'm looking for, and here's our bimetal uh, materials, for instance. In advanced search, still, you can add so many different chemical compositions, like I need minimum aluminium uh, level here in this case, or according to uh, corrosion resistance, maximum carbon or something, and in mechanical properties, you'll be able to set a lot of different mechanical and physical properties here, and you will add minimum values and minimum centigrade, like I want minimum 200 centigrade, and this minimum tensile strength value or any physical properties that we have a lot of properties of this materials. So a lot of option for you to select this material. Same time, if you're looking for some hardenability 
options, metagraphic data, machine ability, and some, you know, diagrams, let's say magnetic properties that I'm looking for, for instance, you know what I mean? And uh, you're clicking here. Elmater is making this search for you. It gives you a huge amount of material information. Here's your metallographic data with different heat treatment of this material and heat treatment options, of course. And in physical properties, mechanical properties, cross-referencing here and joints here and still you will be able to find so many information about material this is how predictor works i would like to show you here we have a ferrozolis chemical composition maybe you are creating some new material here you're selecting different properties that i want to see these materials hardness density and shear modulus and fatigue strength information and stress strain curves of this material and so many more here basically you're just choosing shear modulus information of this material i need to estimate this is my chemical composition or this is my reference material it's missing this shear modulus information and this is how easily you're selecting the test method obviously this is a uh test simulations and I will give you the graph right so all you need to choose the you know temperature range and here is the accurate results of this material still you will be able to add this diagram to the comparison and let's say I'm going back to the chemical composition but I need to increase a little bit aluminium level, let's say, and I'm just dropping down some uh, chromium level, okay, and a little bit more carbon maybe, huh? I'm making the same test again, okay, and now I have another graph, right? and uh, i'm going back and i'm increasing this let's say here and i'm decreasing a little bit not nickel like it was 0 06 and now it's 0 04 right so i'm doing the same test now let's say i have two, the three different diagrams so i can keep doing this and I will be able to see if I make higher carbon a little bit or lower nickel or something, how it affects the shear models of this material, right? So you'll be able to read all this information here side by side. This is how I'm focusing on one particular place. 300 degree or 400 degree values see these are the this is a small difference of this material and this is how you can compare when you are making some estimations about some materials chemical composition where it goes like you can keep doing this test instead of shear modulus, you want to see the, you know, yield strain of the material, let's say, and output time, single point or temperature dependent values. You see, here's the product bars, casting, forgings. You see, these are different. Selections. Nine hundred degree. If I do this in heat treatment, what's gonna happen? For instance, and then I'm going back and choosing this time thousand degree, you know, and maybe I can make some chemical composition changes to see which one of these materials are giving me different behaviors. These are the difference. So. 
predictor is helping you a lot to make some estimations so it's it helps hope you like it i mean and uh from my side that's all you still have my contact information and if you have any question you can always feel free to contact me and thank you very much for joining me today